One area that people have a lot of difficulty with is knowing which colour to throw when. You know, I've never yet come up up with a company where they, they, they actually tell me which colour I need to throw in which situation and why. Um, so consequently, most of it is trial and error. And, you know, it takes a long time to get it right. Now, over the course of several years, we've uh, sort of developed a, a colour a palette, if you will, that works most of the time and we've got good reasons as to why it does. So I'd like to go through them for you right now. Um, you know, most of the time, the best way to get bitten is to throw a colour of bait that matches the forage that the, the predatory fish are eating. So, for example, if the primary food is, is mullet, throw something that looks like a mullet. If the primary food is perch, throw something that's coloured like a perch. And usually what will happen in clearer water where the fish get a good look at the bait, they won't look at it twice, they'll just eat it. Don't get hung up on the names that we've used. It's much more about trying to replicate the bait fish that the predatory fish are eating. So, uh, you know, just make sure the colour scheme's in the ballpark and then uh, you'll get a bit more often. Um, however, there are situations where the colour of the prey isn't always the best colour to throw. And what you have to do to come up with that is consider how the fish are seeing the bait because a lot of the time it's about contrast, about being able to pick out the bait from all the background clutter that the fish are looking at as well and think about the situation the fish is in. Most bait fish have a white belly and that's what fish are keying in on. So obviously this is a bait that works almost everywhere most oh, of the time. However, there are times when it's a little bit line. difficult to see because the reason fish are, are white underneath oh, is so they blend in with the nice ripples fish. and the, the little glints that happen on the surface and also the clouds. Wow. So, uh, but where Black. white is particularly good, I find, is when you're fishing in water that's off colour, whether it's either tannic, i.e. coffee oh, coloured, uh, where there's an oh, algal bloom where it's green, or where the water's dirty. What oh, white like does is it gives off a bit of a glow to it and uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for the fish to find. So that's where I would use white. Jeez. Cheers, Roddy, Captain, now, first if you ever. were to ask musky fishermen, for example, which colour they throw and it's a nice in one. the just, fall just sort of keep it there. for muskies, cool. they would say oh, yeah. black. Oh, now, okay. if you ask them why they throw black, they That's most nice of them say buddy. because it works. Uh, they don't really have a good reason as to why it works. Well, the reason it works is very simple. If you think That's about what way. the fish are looking at, they're in the water looking upwards and seeing a black bait against what? An overcast sky. Most of the time in the fall, the sky's overcast, which means it's white. So black is a great contrast against a white sky. That's why black works. Now, the idea is also, black is also a great colour to throw uh, at night. Now, that may seem crazy, but again, you've got to think of it from the fish's perspective. They're underneath the water, the moonlight is falling on the water and makes the water surface look white. So a black bait going through the white surface looks is the best contrast, so the fish can see it easier. And the idea is when you're fishing at night, what you want to do is have a rib willy, usually, and just reel it in nice and slow and steady. And what it will do is create a V going through the water, and the idea is the fish can pick up on it very, very easily. And so it's a nice, easy, predictable target for them. And uh, I know people that uh, have trouble catching fish who uh, catch the limit, no problem at all, catch lots and lots of walleye this way. So uh, again, it's, it works great. Now the other advantage with the other willy baits, for example, is black also looks like a giant leech and a lot of fish eat leeches when they're young and uh, sort of develop a taste for them. So it, it, it actually is a very good all round color. This is bubblegum. Now, most fishermen throw bubblegum because it's easy for them to see and it has very little to do with its fish catching ability. Now, where bubblegum is appropriate, again, oh, you've got to think of what the fish are looking at. They're looking up at this bait against the backdrop of the sky. When the sky is blue, like it is today, guess what? Red is the best contrast against blue. Better. So the bait stands out more, which means the fish can pick it up against all the other clutter. Now, where bubblegum also works very, very well there. is it also works well around green weeds. Now, again, think about it. It's, a, it's all about contrast. Think about, for example, um, Christmas decorations where you've got red against green. Very big contrast. Uh, you know, our bubblegum is very red on purpose for that reason. So, again, it's easy for fish to see. Now, the idea is when you're fishing this, 
It's bubblegum on both sides, so you can ball. see it very clearly, even from a big, big distance away. Now, when that bait disappears, chances are better than good. A fish has got it in his mouth, so set the hook. Oh! This colour is called Red Devil. It's got a gold belly and a red back with a little bit of black flake in. Pike, for example, really seem to like reds. A lot of other fish do too because it seems to represent injury. But where it, where it also works particularly well is where you've got a lot of green weed. Again, the, the red acts as a great contrast against green. Now, you might say, well, okay, the red's on the back, so when are the fish gonna see it? As the bait moves through the water, it will kick over occasionally and flash its back against the weeds. And when it's dead calm. Because if you look at this little bit of footage, what you'll see is the surface acts like a mirror when it's calm. And it actually reflects the back of the bait. So what the fish are seeing is the weeds that they're lying in. And they're also seeing the back of the bait against the green weeds. So it's very, very easy for the fish to pick out. And that's where it works particularly well. Now, one of the downsides with it I've found, and it's only a small one and it's very easily rectified, is that sometimes the fish actually strike the reflection and miss. So if you find you're getting some missed fish, very simple remedy, turn the bait upside down. Turn it upside down so the red's at the bottom. Now what that will do as well is the front, the V-shaped front, will force the bait down a little bit so it get a little bit closer to the fish as well. But what they'll do is they'll attack the red and it works very, very well indeed. Now this colour is chartreuse, um, it's sort of a, an opaque chartreuse on the, uh, the belly and the back is more of a see-through chartreuse, it's got some red and black flake in there. Now uh, this is a bait that you would tend to use when the water again is a little bit off colour. Uh, you know it'll tend to sort of have a bit of a glow to it and it's a little bit easier for the fish to find. So the two colours I go to when the, weather, uh, when the water isn't clear is, is white and chartreuse. And uh, one of the advantages with using chartreuse is again very easy for the fishermen to see as well. So when it, the colour disappears, you know a fish has got it in his mouth, so you set the hook. This colour is called smelt. It's got a white belly, a pearl white belly, and it's got a blue back. Now, bear in mind these baits are somewhat translucent, so when the fish are looking up at them, the light is actually going through these baits. And this has that same sort of uh, color to it in the water as, as a smelt does. Uh, and in fact, lots of fish, shad as well, uh, are sort of this kind of color. But another area where this, this blue particularly comes in very handily is that this is the color that bass see the best. So I use this color quite a lot for pitching and flipping in thick cover, for example, and the bass can get a good look at it. And again, because I'm fishing with uh, a bait that's uh, bait fish shaped, um, you know, and not the usual sort of crayfish and that kind of thing, it tends to get bitten a bit more. So again, uh, as a bass color, this is really cool. This colour is called Hot Orange, uh, and as the name suggests, it's a very, very bright orange colour. Now, you know, a lot of people look at this and think, what the hell's going to bite that? You'd be surprised. Uh, there are some fish that are just completely and utterly mental. Fish like muskies, for example, and smallmouth, just like really freaky colours. And uh, they get all over this colour like crazy. But another fish that really likes orange is the walleye, or pickerel as people call it up in Ontario. Um, the, the walleye sees orange the best of all the colours. So when you're fishing down deeper, if you get down about 20 feet, maybe a bit more, uh, most baits all turn to black. So uh, orange, because they can see it a little bit better, they tend to bite it a little bit better. It's a case in point, uh, when we went to shoot our walleye in pike uh, footage, uh, we went up to Knee Lake in Manitoba, and the water there is tannic. And we found that hot orange outproduced every other colour that we had over five to one. 